Some tense moments here from Salt Lake City Police Body Cam released just this afternoon, giving some insight into what unfolded during an officer-involved shooting. This happened back in late March. Police say the shooting started with a carjacking. We can hear a 911 calls also released this afternoon. Utah National Guard veteran died in this shooting. New Specialist Lauren Steinbrecher listened to more than a dozen calls for help and breaks down what we see in this body cam. Lauren? So lots of frantic calls that poured into police dispatch as people were watching what was going on. And then, of course, we see that body cam pick up from there, the moments leading to that shooting. As they watch in horror, terrified callers flood 911 phone lines. Get down, get down, everybody, get down, get down. What's going on? A man with a gun, they say, has fired a shot and he's carjacking a car with two other men inside. There was a tall man, he had a beard, and he was trying to flag down cars and he reached in his jacket and he pulled out a gun. And he made them leave the car by pointing the gun through the windshield. I just got robbed at gunpoint on the XL 600 stuff, man, took my car. As more than a dozen people recount what's unfolding, police are quick to respond. He's bailing out, he's bailing out. Chasing the carjacked vehicle, which police said eventually crashed. Officers get out and begin to yell. Show me your head! During the shootout, officers take cover behind their car. They say the suspect got out of the passenger side and ran at them with a gun. Is he out? Police said he dropped to the ground. The shooting killed 38-year-old Matt Seaslack, a Utah National Guard war hero who a former commanding officer said was getting treatment at the VA hospital. We may not know exactly what led to this, but we can now see and hear... Shots fired! Shots fired! ...how it all came to a terrible end. Well, this afternoon, Salt Lake City Police Chief Mike Brown released a statement saying he is proud of the officers in this dynamic, dangerous and traumatic situation. And he looks forward to their return to work after the investigations are complete. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.